All right. We are live for another installment of Josh's Happy Hour. I got my throwback Raylon mug. I'm doing tea this morning. Say hi to Janine. I think you're just drinking water. You're, you're only, it's, it's early for you. Uh, yeah. But um, I know I'm disappointing some people with not my, I don't have my tequila out yet, but it just didn't feel right today. So let me introduce our guest. I'm super excited. One of my favorite people in the beauty industry, Janine Jarman. Uh, for those of you that don't, it, I mean that, I truly mean that. Um, for those of you that don't know her, she is a, she's really done it all. She's a salon owner of Heroin Salon. Uh, used to be New York and LA, but thanks to COVID, now just uh, Los Angeles. Um, Janine is a, for, as a celebrity hairdresser, is a former contestant of Sheer Genius. Was that the name of that show? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I know I'm embarrassing. Or Sheer Genius, whatever. Yeah, it's I'm fine. sure I'm embarrassing with all this. Uh, and um, uh, amongst all of her many talents, and, and more no notably, the founder of the newest, coolest brand, Curl Cult, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. But really, the subject for today is the dirty four-letter word, perms, which uh, Janine, uh, you, you, I, when I first met you, you called yourself Janine the Perm Queen, and that was when you, you, I was smitten ever since. And, um, you know, I was just thinking maybe a good place to start, Janine, for you is you know, you, you've kind of seen it all in the industry. You've been at that top edge of where trends yeah. are happening. You're in LA where it's really all the hot, cool things are happening. I'm saying that because I at least live there. Uh, why perms? Like, how did you stumble on this perm thing? Oh man. I mean, and that's like the exact same thing you said to me when you heard me talk about them for their, in the beginning. I mean, for me, I've always liked perms. I've had a very bizarre, like, fascination with them my whole career it was what like I got a perm every year for my birthday for like I don't know five or six years that and a trip to Sizzler um I just uh -huh. love the the like power of transformation that a perm could offer fast forward I go to beauty school and I was lucky enough to work with uh, Miss Francis she was like a perm champion of the 80s and was like so generous with her excitement and perm knowledge. We also had a couple of Japanese exchange students um, who were really brought the like Japanese culture perming of the to AD. my beauty school. Yeah, it was like so generous. Sorry, that's Ooh. me watching the, I'm watching for comments and I just put your audio, my audio on my phone. So go Perfect. ahead. Yeah. Nothing better than hearing my own voice. I know. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, like I got to do cool perms in in beauty school. And like I had this like really weird, I, a different um, vantage point than most hairdressers in the 90s and 2000s for perms. It, it, for everyone else, it's always been so negative since the 80s. And um, I just knew deep down, like I always wish somebody would make them cool again. They're such a powerful... Um, permanent texture tool for hairdressers yep. but so m there was so much uh, a giant lack to be desired the smell the application the, you were really limited on what shapes you could create and thus began my fascination and probably about seven years ago is when I start sketching ideas pestering um my one of my mentors Donna Federici I was like help me make a perm help me make a perm and she like called everybody in the U.S. and everyone's like Nobody wants to make a perm, Janine. So we just kept at it. And it four years ago took me to Italy, where I like traded basically my life away to this company to make me a, a perm in exchange. And that the rest is history. Yeah. So we're we're gonna get back to that, but I want to rewind for a second. Yeah. And um, you know, for for like the newer young stylists that are out there that mm. never really participated in the perm trend in the industry and it probably has a negative or maybe just no connotation to the perm. Yeah. Like what, what did that service represent to hairdressers back then and to clients just to maybe put it in perspective? Like how, how did people think about that service compared to like, and then bringing that to modern day, maybe bring it to context. I mean, like, well, gosh, your dad was such a big window 
to putting it in the context for me of what it could really be revenue wise for our industry, you know, and it, I guess like, if and you did some like really fancy math with it. It would be like the equivalent of adding blonding services essentially. So like imagine that like your blonding services went away. Yeah. You know, that would be a huge chunk of pie to lose, but also a huge opportunity to bring in. So okay. yeah. All right, cool. And so I think people, you know, there, there's been somewhat chatter over the years where other people have, you know, said, Hey, we're going to bring back the perm. Yeah. I guess just like for you, what makes now the time, like what's happening in trends with curl and just you know, maybe bring it into perspective of why you think the moment yeah. has finally arrived. I mean, even just let alone coming out of COVID, like we are ready. We're on this. I was already working on this perm train for the last four years. But once we went to lockdown, there was a huge uptick in like one of the like perfect examples, like out of nowhere, boy perm, the hashtag boy perm was trending on TikTok in the middle of COVID. And this was, this was like teenagers just setting their hair. Yeah. Every one of my daughter's friends has hair. this thing right here on the front. The Yeah. Yeah. And I knew just like, I, like, I'm always fascinated. And like, one of my favorite books is uh, The Tipping Point. And that was something, you know, I knew like texture curl was going to come back. Um, I w was hoping that I could, for people that didn't have texture curl, be the perm that like elevated that experience and brought, you know, service revenue for perming and, and texture into the salon. Um, but once I started seeing that happen and like, even the year before that curly girl method was really taking off and getting some real traction and not just associated with like a, a, a product or a brand, but rather this movement of people wanting to encourage natural curl, um, that being home in quarantine, it just encouraged that behavior some more. Mm -hmm. So we really saw this big, like this big swing to have more effortless hair. And then psychologically, you know, now that we're kind of through it somewhat, unless you're in Los Angeles, um, we have this like appreciation of how we're spending our time, you know? So it was, it's, we had to hit it on all fronts to like make that tipping point, which we, it hasn't even happened yet, but we're, we're really getting close to it. It yeah. has to, everybody has to like personally be ready for, for a beauty change. Um, it has, they have to be good and sick of whatever was, you know, being done before, which is a lot of blonding, a lot of breakage, a lot of smoothing. So yeah, I think we're getting to that perfect storm where people are like, all right, I want to express myself with bigger, more out there hair. Um, even that too, like it's indicative when we had the, you know, the, the marches and the protests going on when that happened before a huge rise of like large textured hair followed suit. So beauty also imitates wherever we are emotionally in society so yeah i know that's like a big like esoteric yeah. answer yeah, it but really was. yeah it's more than just like bringing back the perm we have to be feel an emotional co connection and be ready to express ourselves in bigger textured hairstyles and i think we are we're, we're getting there and we're, we're almost there you, you mentioned the tipping point i don't know if you've ever seen malcolm gladwell the author's hair but uh have you ever seen his no hair? <laughs> Oh my God, not. he he he'd be a curl cult spokesman. He's like very curly. Uh, anyway, that's that's neither here nor there. Uh, j just to give me some context, I mean, you one of the things I love about you being a brand owner is you also have a salon, and you're, um, you know, you're very you understand what salon owners and stylists you you do hair still behind the chair. How many perms like a day or a week or you know like are your team doing like I'm just or you personally I'm just to get some context to like even though you're like you're at the tip of the the spear on this but uh, the sense yeah. i get is you're doing a lot of these things already yeah i mean but, well not that like last year was a good indicator of anything because in la we we're closed more than we were open but it accounted for probably 20 percent of our revenue wow which is huge That's you know incredible. and um i wanted a, a factor for that in my in me increasing being known for perms before even launching the product line uh, is I got featured on Refinery29 and it was such an aha because people were flying from, God forbid, but Florida and stuff to see me amidst the pandemic to get a perm, you know, like 
And that's crazy. Of course, there's people in Florida that can perm hair. Like to fly all the way to California to get a perm, I was like, right. wow. Because you're the only one so talking is, about it. Yeah. And there's a lack of, it's not just a, a trend is not enough. It, there's not a, a, a great product to support it. And then education and hairdressers on board for it. So there's this huge missing void right now where that's a problem. If somebody has to fly across the United States, get a perm from me, we need to teach people how to perm and we need to have a better product that people feel compelled to use to perm too. Yep. Before we get into the product. So just so if I'm a hairdresser um, yeah. and I, I haven't totally understood the service to point to this date, like who is the ideal client that would really benefit from this service? Who could I market this service to? you know, speaking to me like as an everyday stylist, seeing clients? Yeah, yeah, that, that's a great question. Like for me, you know, again, I started adding perms into my like mainstay on the salon before I had my own line even. And the reason being, I was really listening, critically thinking and listening to my client hair concerns. And it killed me that clients were like, oh, I love my hair, but I never could get it to look like this. And in exploring those ideas, like it wasn't, you know, like it, it's a lot easier said than done. Like, oh, just wand your hair every day. Yeah. Oh, just bl blow it out first. And it, there's a lot of things to get them to just get quote unquote effortless hair. And I was like, all right, well, what if I start perming you? And, you know, years ago, it's like a few years ago, I started perming client by client you know, the ones that really trusted me and little mm -hmm. by little, I, I was building this clientele that was so beyond stoked that they could finally wash and go with their hair because they got just like a, you know, like a easy shook out textured perm. And they came in every couple months and it elevated them from just being a haircut client. I think haircut clients are the best to convert into this. This will only support the great haircut that you do. Um, clients that these, you know, past extreme, like silver, super blonding, punky colors that those just never landed with those clients. This is a great service to get them, you know, excited clients that are concerned with the condition of their hair. So they, they don't want to, you know, use heat styling or do any aggressive coloring services. This is a great service for them as well. You know, and, oh. and anyone that's busy, that's just like, I don't want to blow dry my hair. A yeah. perm is great. And, and I think, and I've heard you talk before about this. I think that for me, the, the, the learning was, you know, you think of a perm, you don't really think of it in terms of a permanent styling service. You think of it as, oh, someone that has straight flat hair that wants curl. Yeah. But, but really the, the audience is much wider because it's anyone that wants to permanently create a style that, that they don't, they can't replicate on their own using heat styling and what have you. And then doesn't want to kill their hair with heat anyway. So it, in, in, over time, it, it, it's better on their hair than doing a wand, like you said, or a curling iron every day. Um, so I yeah, think that's really and cool. Time-wise, time like, I think that too, like coming out of COVID, we just want, it, like, we just want stuff to be a little bit easier, you know? Like, it shouldn't be so, like cumbersome to just get our hair to look like effortless it should actually you know dare we say it, we, it can actually be effortless and and i think as part of that i've heard you say <clears throat> it's also for the really curly client that wants to yes. reform their curl to a to where they want to look because it doesn't they can't get their curl to look the way they want so you can actually recreate the, the desired curl so maybe speak to that for a sec yeah so even going deeper into that well one 40% of the perms I do are on men or really short hair. So it's a quick add-on service, um, but dub more than doubles my ticket for, for my male clients um, without doubling the time. It's like an extra 30, 45 minutes. Um, and then the, my, our reformation perms that I do, uh, there's a lot of curly clients where it's really uneven texture. And I will say probably, you know, a lot of the perms I do aren't on stick straight hair. It's somebody that's like, has like an uneven curl pattern or doesn't like their curl pattern. You know, it's, it's that. It's, I think that's really it's more cool than that. I don't think that's self-evident to the average stylist that's out there, you know, thinking about what a perm is. And I, I always use yeah. the word permanent styling service to kind of remind myself that that's really what it is. Um, all right. So 
you're doing all this. You could easily be doing this with, with all the perms that are on the market. So you said, no, that's not good enough. I want to create Curl Cult. Like, tell me, you know, or tell the audience, like, what makes Curl Cult different and better and it has empowered you and will empower others to do, you know, what is considered to be modern yeah. day perming versus what was old? So for me, I'm do I was doing like all these cool perms, right? And I have, a, at, at the time I had a team in New York, team in LA. And like, I, I was flooded with them. I was like, who wants to learn perm? Like out of my team, like out of 50 stylists, there was nobody truly interested in it. And I was like, well, man, <laughs> it doesn't matter how great of a like education I come up with, teach it. Cause I was like, oh, I'll write perm curriculum. Like everybody thinks you just said it like a granny perm. And I, I use a lot of my session styling, um, my celebrity hair styling, like red carpet styling techniques with iron work. I applied that to how we set, I set the perms. So it was like, they're like, oh, okay, that's interesting. But there was like a handful of things. They're like, it smells so bad. Like I feel so uncomfortable sending the client home smelling like that. It's so messy to do those super soft shapes. I, feel really um like it, it, I don't feel confident getting it evenly rinsed out I'm getting the client soaking wet I then don't feel confident charging what I should for my time because it's such a messy service and then one of the biggest things which I was like really was end papers they're like I'm always fumbling with the end papers it's so fumbly so all right, if I reformulate this, which, you know, of course, simply, it, easier said than done. I was like, why hasn't somebody done this? Well, it turns out it takes a lot of work and it's really expensive. Um, nonetheless, I'm I was crazy enough to do it because I do really believe in that we're missing out on this opportunity of really delighting clients uh, that haven't been engaged in, in previous trending services. And I really think that textured hair should be more accessible mm -hmm. for, for our industry and for clients. So um, yeah, I sought out to really correct the, the trip ups that perms currently have. And we, we made a product that has a pea protein and plex technology in it, the perm solution itself. So it leaves hair softer, more hydrated and feeling stronger. Cause that was a big thing too. It's like, Ugh, it gets fried so easy. Right. And so that we could perm over some highlighted hair too, because by the way, that ends up being half the people that want to get a perm right. have previously so, lightened hair. So because of that protein complex, it's, it's healthier on the hair. It doesn't damage the hair like a traditional perm and, and it widens the client yep. opportunity uh, of who could use yeah. it. Okay. And then what, and what gives else you a, white, a wider safety. Okay. It, it's like a, a feel, it's safer too. So you can kind of push the envelope more without compromising the hair. Um, secondly, we neutralize right over top. So we remove that whole rinse out and blotting altogether. Yeah. People that also that. saves a lot of time. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's been really cool. That, that's the thing that people are like, wait, you don't have to rinse the perm. You neutralize right on top. That's yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. It also expands what you can perm on. Uh, it's a 7.2 pH. So we're non-reactive to metal, uh, meaning we can do like sculptural perms, zigzag perms. We can really get creative like you would want to. In, if You know what I mean? If, we, if you were just landed on this planet, didn't know what a perm was and said, hey, let's create permanent texture. You would want to be able to put it on all sorts of shapes and textures and like really be creative with it. And by being non-reactive to metal and neutralizing over top, we can do that. We braid on perms, twist knots, on rods, off rods, all, all sorts of things, which makes it fun. Cause that was a big part of it. It's like, oh my gosh, those grandma perms are boring. Yeah. And a lot of the texture services we have available right now are boring. This is not boring. It's fun. You can be creative and do it, all it, sorts it, of things. It, it's every bit as creative as balayage or creative colors. I mean, just seeing some of yeah. your wrapping techniques is pretty cool. Uh, I love yeah. it. Um, and, and then uh, I guess, well, I'll say for us, I mean, we, we launched with Curl Cult like less than a month ago and I, I, I was super pumped about it. I was a little apprehensive as to what the um, 
reception would be from the market because you know you yeah i haven't about, even asked you you know what how the, I, you know i'm a nervous nelly i'm a nervous nelly in general but one of the things that i've been so pumped about is that just the what just the conversation it's exciting to stylists and i love there's nothing more than i love talking about something new and getting people excited about something new and so i i've been really i guess perms aren't technically new but it's a new considering they're not doing the service right now um, I've been really encouraged uh, about the enthusiasm on just the idea of starting to do them again. And, and largely because of you're the one, you know, they, they really have been excited and reacted positively to, to you teaching. So, so what's your mission for perms in the industry right now? You know, it's, it's a couple parts. Uh, one, I want to get clients to feel more supported at their at home hair routine. I want it to liberate them. I mean, it's not a coincidence. Our perming lotion is called oh, liberate. liberate. I like it. It's, it's intentional. You know, I, I want it to be this like magical liquid that liberates the, the styling routine. Um, and for my hairdressers, which are my favorite humans on planet earth, uh, I want us to get excited and think critically about creating textures and shapes and Correct, create creative textures, corrective textures, and really make a new mark of what perms can be for our industry. And like, let let's carve out that space right now. And instead of it being dictated what it was, uh, I'm excited to see what it what it can be for the future for our current generation of hairdressers. I love it, and and I'm I'm proud and honored to be alongside you doing that. Um, I know you, you, if anybody wants to, you know, learn more or get certified, uh, they can go to Curl Cult. Is it what's the we are Curl Cult dot com or what's the no just, just Curl Cult just Curl dot com. Uh, we found that person who held it hostage and you got it off. No, I'm joking. Yeah, uh, we all right. So Curl Cult all, all true. Yeah, I, I know you're doing a ton of like Facebook lives and and um, yeah. tutorials with techniques. I think seeing the wrapping techniques you're doing is really cool. Is there any parting message you want to share with anyone about just um, what to do from here yeah. if they're interested? Yeah, for our education, you know, talk to Art of Business about bringing it into your salon. We have retail that supports both permed hair and any natural curly and textured hair as well. Um, follow us on Instagram. That's where we post all of upcoming classes. Uh, beyond just in-person classes, we wanted our mission for education was to be accessible. So we teach not just how to perm, but how to do inspiring techniques and looks in all different formats. So you can catch us on a live Zoom. We have perm along Zoom. We have live classes. We have all sorts of stuff. So yeah, you know, and, and join I guess Curl Call. And if you are doing a perm in your salon, you know, do the before and after and tag Curl Call because I think I think the idea oh, is to have Curl Call be that, right, be that place where everyone shares uh, all their cool perms uh, before and afters. This is a place for everyone to belong. Curl Call is great on all hair types and textures, which for chemical service is kind of a first for our industry. So, you know, with that, that means everyone's welcome. And we're always looking for more cult leaders. That's what we call our educators. So if you're interested in becoming a cult leader, slide into our dms yeah cool Come join well, the movement i love it uh join the movement i think with that uh thanks for joining me on my happy hour janine and thanks to everyone else i'm sure many people will watch this after the fact so um feel free to do it and by cozying up to a drink of your choice and uh that's it cheers bye